Hello, welcome to Literary Life and welcome to my unboxing of January's Book of the Month Club selections and my first video of 2024. So happy new year to you all. I did fairly well. I managed to pick two books this month and I'm really proud of that because I did say no to a couple more books I was really interested in, but again, trying to focus and limit myself. As always, I will have links below if you're interested in picking up any of these books or joining Book of the Month Club, I have a discount code below. Out of the five selections, this was the first one I picked. This book was already on my radar. Emily Austin had written another book I absolutely loved. So as soon as I saw this one, I'm like, okay, I need to grab this book. Interesting facts about space. This is a contemporary fiction. It is an early release through Book of the Month Club. It is going to have LGBTQ themes. It is going to be funny, quirky, and have a millennial focus. What is the book about? Our main character, Enid, obsessed. She's obsessed with space. She can tell you all about black holes and their ability to spaghettify you. I do think that's a real word, and I love it. Without batting an eye in fear. Her one major phobia, bald men. <laughs> Oh my God, it kills me. It killed me the first time I read it too. But she tries to keep that one under wraps <laughs> when she's not listening to her favorite true crime podcasts on a loop. She's serially dating a rotation of women from dating apps. At the same time, she's trying to forge a new relationship with her estranged half-sisters after the death of her absent father. When she unwittingly plunges into her first serious romantic entanglement, Enid starts to believe that someone is following her. As her paranoia spirals out of control, Enid must contend with her mounting suspicion that something is seriously wrong with her because at the end of the day, there's only one person she can outrun herself, brimming with quirky humor, charm, and heart, interesting facts about space, Effortless, effortlessly shows us the power of revealing our secret shame, the most beautiful human parts of all. I adored this woman's writing about mental health. And everyone in this room will someday be dead. I just thought she did such an amazing job. So I am really excited to see the way she brings different states of mental health to life with this character. I just think she did a brilliant job. So that was my first selection. My second one I got out of the add-ons. And this book I had not heard of, but I was very much caught up in its setting. So for those of you that don't know, we recently moved from the Chicago area up into Wisconsin, and this is set in the Northwoods of Wisconsin, which is a part of our, our current state and hopefully our last that I have yet to see, but I'm very intrigued by. I really want to get up there too and experience Lake Superior. In fact, if you guys have any good places to visit in Wisconsin or Northern UP, let me know of Michigan. Let me know because that is definitely at my radar. But this book. I saw it was set in the North Woods, and I'm like, okay, totally intrigued. And it's crime fiction. I really enjoy mysteries, crime fiction. So this was an easy one. This is a debut author. It is going to have multiple viewpoints, the rural setting, family drama, and it does have drug and alcohol use. Our main character is Eli North, and he is not okay. His drinking is getting worse by the day. His emotional wounds after a deployment to Afghanistan are as raw as ever. His marriage and career are over, and the only job he can hold down is with the local sheriff's department. And that's only because the sheriff is his mom. And she's overwhelmed with small town, shaky lakes, dwindling budget, and the fallout from the opioid epidemic. The Northwoods of Wisconsin may be a vacationer's paradise, but amidst the fishing trips and campfires and Paul Bunyan festivals, something sinister is taking shape. When the body of a teenage boy is found in the lake, it sets in motion an investigation that leads Eli to a wealthy enclave with a violent past, a pharmaceutical salesman, and a missing teenage girl. Soon, Eli and his mother, along with a young FBI agent, are on the hunt for more than just a killer. If Eli solves the case, could he finally get the shot at redemption he so desperately needs, or will answers to this dark case elude him and continue to bring destruction to the Northwoods? 
So it had all the things for me. Like I said, I was very interested in the setting. I am always intrigued by the dynamic around the opioid epidemic, how that's continuing to play out today um, in our judicial system, in our pharmaceutical industry. Uh, so that part definitely pulled me in, um, as well as just your run-of-the-mill uh, mystery component, detective investigator component, but also the fact that this main protagonist has PTSD. Um, so again, just helping to grow my awareness and experience and understanding around people that are suffering from PTSD, I thought would be really interesting. So this one, I was like, yep, going to grab this one. And it's a thin book, so I, I think I can knock this one out quickly. That Those were mine. Those were my selections. So as always, fellow subscribers, let me know below what you've got. Especially, I'm, I, yeah, I'm really curious because I feel like this particular month had a lot of diverse selections. So I'm curious what caught everyone's attention and where everyone's going to be reading. And other than that, let's go read some more books. Thank you as always for being here and happy reading.